Uh, there's reporting that the Biden administration is lobbying against legislation that would designate Taiwan as a major non-NATO ally. Can you tell us if that's accurate? And as we move towards what President Biden has often described as an era of autocracy versus democracy, um, should we be strengthening ties with Taiwan by entering into such a designation? I uh, think we're, uh, with respect to this proposed legislation, I, I think uh, we're going to avoid too much comment right now. Um, we certainly appreciate and respect uh, the, the role of Congress uh, and, frankly, the support uh, across the aisle uh, this year and so many years in the past for, uh, for support to, to Taiwan. Um, but I don't think it behooves us to try to get ahead of some proposed legislation before it, it, moves, uh, it moves further on down the, down the ways. I will only add that the Taiwan Relations Act, which is the law of the land, does provide the administration uh, a lot of vehicles and venues. And we get fixated on the, on the Taiwan Relations Act in terms of a security perspective and arms sales. And those, those have continued under this administration, and, and they will continue under this administration. But if you read the act, there's an awful lot more to, to it than just, than just arms sales. And uh, we fully respect uh, that law of the land. We'll follow that law of the land. Uh, it does provide on its own. Uh, an awful lot of flexibility and authority for the administration to continue to support Taiwan, particularly in their self-defense, and, and we're going to keep adhering, adhering to it. And then more, just a, a quick follow-up. You, you mentioned this briefly um, about the canceled uh, ICBM test. Can you speak more generally to the decision um, not to move in that direction, to cancel that? Was that, that the President's decision? And, and I guess, can you put a little bit more meat sure. on the bones in terms sure. of sure. Sure. lessening tensions right now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, first of all, it's not canceled. Um, it's it's only been postponed, and, and it's uh, been postponed for a short period of time. I'm not going to uh, uh, tell you what the date certain here is on the calendar, but there is a date certain, uh, and it's it's uh, it's just been postponed for uh, for uh, a short period of time. So it's still going to happen, and uh, because it's not being postponed for an exorbitant amount of time. It's not going to have, as I said, any effect on our nuclear readiness. Um, the, the, the decision came uh, in light and in context of the tensions that we're seeing right now, and they're pretty escalated. I mean, it's temperature's pretty high. Um, and the president believed, and the national security team believed, um, that a strong, confident, capable nuclear power can afford to wait a couple of weeks for a test uh, to make it clear, not just in word but in deed, how serious we are when we say we have no interest in escalating the tensions. We don't think there should be a pretext for crisis or conflict. And we're not, as I said in my opening statement, we're not seeking one. And this decision to postpone for a short while is meant uh, to prove indeed what we're, what we're saying in words about how serious we are. It's the responsible thing to do. It's the strong, confident thing to do. Uh, and the president stands behind that. Just a couple of